When I was eight years old, my dad got a call to be a pastor in Palau. It was going to be just a whole new experience for all of us. I said, it is impossible. No, it's not possible. I just stood there, tears coming down, and I said, God, forgive us. Something then amazing happened that was not part of the program, that was completely unexpected. Everybody just looked about at each other, shocked. It was one of the most incredible periods of Palauan history. I always wanted to go back to Palau. We don't know what memories this is going to bring back, what emotions this is going to stir up. It was a very impactful moment in my life that I don't think I'll ever forget. This gamut of emotions. You know what? It's not unique to Palau. These emotions are what we experience in America. There's no, there's no place on this planet exempt from the horrific realities that this powerful documentary has, has narrated. The other evening, about two weeks ago, uh, President Zelensky, you've heard that name, the president of the Ukraine, made a statement to the cameras of the world. We will never forget and we will never forgive. But I think what this nation has shown is that even in remembering, in remembering the forgiveness is ours as well. So where do we go from here? This is a powerful, powerful a documentary. Some are already asking, are we going to show this again? We've got to find a way. We've got to find a way, set a time. We're not prepared tonight to announce that time. But we have something that's going to start happening immediately beginning tomorrow. You see that, uh, you see this little uh, nook in the corner of the platform? It's going to be my privilege to be able to talk to some of the key players in this unfolding drama that we, we witnessed tonight. Tomorrow night, we're going to have the two presidents. And we'll be able to re think out loud and you'll listen in on that conversation. So President Tommy, who led the nation through this horrific chapter. President Sarango, who just today, by the way, made a proclamation throughout Palau regarding Melissa, welcoming Melissa back to, to Palau and proclaiming this return to Palau as an event for Palau itself to embrace and to receive. We'll have some of the other key players, and we'll say to the, to the very end, uh, Michael and Melissa. Because every time, every time I watch this, uh, I just am drawn more and more to these two young adults. And I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of Melissa. And I know one day, 
when she looks into the face of her beloved mom and dad and, and, and Larison, Larison, that is going to be one high celebration. And I want to be there. I want to be there when that happens. So here, here's the deal. Two powerful stories of forgiveness we just witnessed. I want to go to two of the most profound stories of forgiveness in sacred literature and unpack those. We've got a couple of psychologists on our team. We're going to, some of you are reliving your own memories of hurt, being wounded. What, what were the emotions I scribbled down in the, in the dark? This, this the longing for revenge, anger remorse, apology. We've lived it all. Nobody, nobody's exempt from these emotions. But starting tomorrow night, six o'clock, isn't that the time we're gonna be here at six o'clock? It's seven, seven o'clock tomorrow night. In this space, by the way, that was the sacred space in which that funeral that we witnessed took place right here in this room. You know, Palau, Palau's kind of proud about the Survivor coming to town and you, you, you shot the, was it the Survivor series that was shot out here in the, the Rock Islands? And you know what? We are so jaded now as a human race by reality TV that we just kind of, ah, uh, that's not real. They're, they're not really going through this. That clip that you saw embedded in the heart of this documentary. That was no play acting. That was no reality television. That was the raw reality. The raw reality of survival and forgiveness. How could, how could I possibly forgive like Ruth DePaiva did and like Melissa has done? Ah, it's impossible, I can't. Considering what I've been through, no way, Jose. No, we're going to look at the possibilities. We're going to look at a, at, a, at a biblical strategy to not only give forgiveness, but to receive forgiveness. Because someone once commented, we are all the victims and we are all the perpetrators. All of us. There's a little Justin, a little of Justin in every heart here. So we have no right to raise our noses high and look down on others. We share, we share in the raw reality that life is today. So anyway, I hope you can come back tomorrow night. Tell your friends that we're going to announce a time when they too can experience what you just experienced. And by the way, you're going to, you're going to want to experience it the second time because every time I watch this, something different emerges and you'll be blessed to the max. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Same place. Were you able to find parking? I see that you were. Good for you. I hope that that space is available for you again tomorrow night. Come on back. Let's stand. We've had enough talking tonight. Let's just stand. Let's stand together. And I want to pray. I want to pray with you. Oh God, what a story, what can we say? It, it, it defies human sensibilities. But this is no television show. This, this is the raw reality of human life on the planet at this time in history. We're thankful that we, we were never left in this documentary with a sense of hopelessness. There's just no forgiveness for me. I can never forgive her. I will never forgive him for that. We are not left with that hopelessness. We go home tonight with the assurance there is forgiveness. Forgiveness for every man, woman, and child in this, in this room right now. Forgiveness for the entire nation of Palau. Forgiveness for the entire nation of America. There's forgiveness for us all. We want to seize that. We want to find strategic ways to live that and never be the same again. May that be the case for having witnessed this beautiful story tonight. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. God bless you and good night.